So if I wanted to put a rounded corner on this with a fillet, um, I need to select both of these lines. Uh, if you click and drag left to right, you get the blue square. If you click and drag right to left, you get a green square. The way those work is if I, you can see if I do left to right making that blue square, the only full piece inside of this blue square is this top line right here. So if I let go, that's the only piece it's going to grab. The blue square only grabs the full entities inside of that blue square. If I click the green square, um, click and drag right to left, you can see you got the horizontal line on the top and I'm just going to be barely touching those two vertical lines and you can see it selects all three. So the green square is going to select everything that it's touching, the full pieces. So what I want to do is I want to select this corner. Uh, the easiest way is just to do a little green square right to left. So after you have these two lines selected, what you want to do is click on this fillet button. After you click on that, you'll see it have this blue kind of uh, sample of what your fillet's going to look like. So on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see you got the, the fillet radius 0.5. You come in here and change that to whatever you want. If I want to do a um, 3 eighths radius on there, type in 0.375, click the check mark or enter to accept it, and you'll see it'll trim off those lines and give me a radius. Uh, if I want to do that on this corner, I'll just come over here, select this corner like we did with the other one with the green square, click on the radius button, and it's going to remember the last known input. So it has that 3 eighths radius on there again. Click enter the green check mark to accept that, and you got two radius corners on your part.